Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So in this video, we are going to discuss some more basic concepts related to networks. In the previous video, we discussed about the types of network or the categories of network in terms of geographical area or geographical coverage that is LAN, WAN and MAN, local area network, wide area network and metropolitan area network. In this video, we are going to discuss about the basic concepts related to network models that exist which allow the communication between the devices that are connected or that, that are part of that network, okay, the various network models, the basic concepts. So, first we must understand what is a network model. So, the basic definition of a network model is that it is, it provides the basic framework, the basic architecture for the design of the network systems, okay. Now, how the various devices that are part of the network will communicate with each other, how they are going to be connected, that is what a network model determines, it provides the basic framework of that. Basically what it does is that from the, po the point of transmission of data to the point of reception between two devices, how the data will travel, will progress the various stages involved in the transmission of data and information from one device to the other that is governed by the network model, okay, the network model architecture or the network model framework, okay, the transfer of data, the manner in which the data is transferred, the various stages that are involved in it, that is governed by the network model. So, the network model it operates on the principle of layered architecture, okay, we will discuss about that. What it means that it consists of several layers that are separate, distinct, but are related to each other, okay, they work for each other, okay, that is what the network model layered architecture means it consists of several layers okay which are separate distinct but they related they are related to each other they work for each other okay now each layer defines a particular part of the process it performs a certain task a certain chunk of task which is involved in the entire process of moving the data from one device to the other Okay, the various devices that are connected in the network, when data transmission takes place from one device to the other, each layer of the network model performs a certain task, okay, a certain portion of the task, the entire task is the transmission of data, each layer performs a certain task and contributes to the transmission of data from one device to the other. So, the network model, how it works, so as I said, it uh, is built on the principle of layered architecture and it operates on the principle of layered task, what it means that each layer performs a certain task, okay, it has a specific task which is allotted to that layer, basically the network, the network models have three main layers okay the lower layer the middle layer and the higher layer okay you can compare it with the various uh, the hierarchy which exists in various institutions and organizations okay in each organization in the management hierarchy there are layers or levels that are present the topmost level the middle level and the lower level. Similar to that, the network models have three levels or three layers, okay. The lower layer, 
the middle layer and the higher layer. Now, what are the elements of a network model? So, the network model it consists of three main elements the sender, the carrier, and the receiver. Okay, the sender is the one which is transmitting data or information. Okay, the receiver is the one which receives the data or the information, and the carrier transmits the data okay it helps in the transmission of data in the in the in the uh, by carrying the data from the sender to the receiver these are the basics of communication we have already discussed in that so the network model actually it as i said it operates on the principle of layered architecture so it consists of basically seven layers okay seven layers the entire network model it actually consists of seven layers starting from the top uh, the bottom most which is the physical layer then the data link layer the network layer the transport layer the session layer the presentation layer and the application layer now please do not worry we will discuss each of these layers in detail in a separate video where I will uh, discuss the basic concepts related to them and uh, their functions, their features, their characteristics, everything. Just for now, you see that a network model has seven layers, okay, seven levels, okay, associated with each device, and the data has to be passed and processed through each of these seven layers it has to be filtered through each of these seven layers starting from the top to bottom okay top to bottom that is the data flow direction okay so just for now you understand that a network model has layered architecture and it consists of seven layers which are these now the we can understand the working of the network model with the help of an example where uh, a simple example of writing a letter and posting the letter and the letter reaches to the concerned party with the help of the, the postal system how it works it has it, it can be uh, used as an example to understand the way the network model works so we know that the, the, the very way in which the postal system works it has a sender and a receiver okay sending party and receiving party from the side of the sender the sequence of uh, the sequence the steps that it has to pass through is first the letter is written put in an envelope and dropped in the mailbox okay then the letter is carried from the mailbox to the post office by a postman. Then at the post office, the letter is delivered to a carrier which uh, sends the postcard or that letter to the particular destination that the carrier can be through uh, air transport or rail transport or any uh, land transport. It can be through anything that acts as the carrier now once the letter is delivered to the destination post office from there the letter is carried to the mailbox of that destination the receiving party then the receiver picks the letter from the mailbox opens it and reads it so there is a certain layering okay of tasks the tasks the task of uh, sending the letter the simple task of sending a letter from one point to another it happens through several layers through several levels okay again there is a top to bottom approach here okay the sender and the receiver who actually send the letter they operate at the higher layer okay the topmost level then the mailbox 
it is the middle layer and the post office and the postman they operate at the lower layer okay so this is this example we can use to understand the working of the network model as the letter has to pass through several stages before reaching from the sender to the receiver similarly the data okay the data to reach from the sender device to the receiving device has to pass through seven layers of the network model okay in a top to bottom approach okay so the popular network models that uh, are generally used are basically the two popular network models that are uh, in, uh, that are presently used first one is the open systems interconnection model osi model it is also called as osi model and the other one is the tcp ip protocol suite the transmission control protocol we'll discuss about that in detail in separate videos just for now you understand that the two popular network models that uh, every network uses is the open systems interconnection model the osi model and the tcp ip protocol suite okay these are the two popular network models so here we have discussed uh, the basic concepts related to network models now i'll be discussing about these two network models in detail in separate videos okay so we have discussed some of the basic concepts related to network models starting from the basic definition uh, how the network model works with the help of a real life example and the layers that are present the levels the hierarchy the system of hierarchy which exists in the operation of the network model so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much